I don't like, you know, I don't like the way the song is correlated. Already, I've gone through the tutorial on this. Well, hold on, hold on. Let's get, let's get introductions out of the way. All right, everybody, welcome to Ninja Monkey 508's channel. It is yours, Ninja Monkey, and today I am also hosting with... Horbath again, bitches! And we also have the return of... Joshua! Also known as Baloo. In case you remember that video. <laughs> and today we are, or sorry, in October we are doing one of my favorite games that I've been waiting to do all year. Until Dawn. And yeah, we're going to be doing this a little bit differently than our usual play. But with a lot of reason. This is a nine hour fucking game. Yep. <laughs> so we'll be taking turns on this, but we're going to... I should probably mention right now, and the music's a little loud, so I'm going to turn it down real quick. I should probably mention is that I have already seen all the way through this game so I know what's supposed to happen and what you're supposed to do and not do. However, Jacob's gotten second longest. He hasn't beaten it, but he's gotten pretty far. Yeah, and yep. as a special treat, we took in someone completely blind to the game, Josh. <laughs> he has not played this game in any way, shape, or form. So he is going in completely blind. Yep. I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah. Don't be nervous. Oh no, be nervous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, be nervous. Be nervous. I'm afraid happen. I'm gonna kill everybody. <laughs> oh no. Please. Oh yeah, okay. So yeah. those of you guys who don't know about this game is the objective is to try to have all the characters live by the end of the story until dawn. However, you have multiple opportunities for your characters to die. And it all relies completely on you and the butterfly effect. And those who don't know what that is, basically is any little thing in the past or present can affect your future dramatically. With infinite amounts of possibilities. Exactly. So, every decision you make in this game depends solely on you. Yep, and if you, the character dies, they stay dead. Yeah, unlike other games like Mortal Kombat 9, 10, or other games that we have played, if you die in this game, they stay dead, they never come back. So, we can't, and we're not going to restart it. Nope. And also, even though, yeah, even though I have seen the game and I've seen it all the way through and, and um, Jacob has seen it too, we're going to be playing this as if they are our decisions alone and nobody else's. So if someone dies, it was completely because we wanted them to. Yep. Same thing goes with Josh. He's completely blind. So we're going to help him out with that. He's going in mostly blind, but not completely. Yeah. So the first guy you're seeing here is named Josh. Ironically! <laughs> <laughs> and this Sam. Is Sam. They did this on purpose, by the way. Yeah, we didn't tell him anything about this game. We told him not to look into it yet. Yeah. So, he, yeah, he's completely blind on this. But yeah, this guy, I like him. He's yeah. Josh, and I'm taking him on. Yeah. Don't kill me, please. <laughs> He's well, like, you know, in hindsight, he looks like a fusion of what would happen if you and I fused together. We get Josh. <laughs> <laughs> so you get Josh. Josh. You. <laughs> yeah. Ah, Josh. <laughs> He's like, wait, why do I get your name? What the fuck, man? <laughs> or Jalil. <laughs> Jalil. Oh, God. Yeah. So I know we didn't record it, but I'm going to have to cut scenes playing over it anyway is basically what happened about a year ago before all this happened hannah and beth his sisters just died because during a prank hannah ran out in the storm and they're on the side of a mountain and then she slips off and then beth holds on but then they both ultimately fall to their death yeah they get their skulls and there's back. no possible way to save them i found that out the hard way yeah yeah you can't nope. yeah the plot either doesn't matter hannah way. and beth die no matter what in this yeah, game but way. it's obviously vital because it's actually a big part of this story all right and Josh, no matter. And Josh, yeah. So God, this is... This fucking song. <laughs> yeah, this game is so much fun. <laughs> so this game supposedly has like every horror trope whatsoever oh, in the yeah. game. It's bad. From dark lighting, teenagers trying to have sex in the cabins. You have... Serial killers. Jump scares galore yep. throughout this game. Yeah. And a very convoluted plot that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Oh, yeah. Blackwood Pines. Blackwood. Yo, he's black, yo! <laughs> <laughs> I figure, where is this in Washington or? I think they're in Canada. Canada? I thought, I thought so. At least I want to say that. I think it's Canada. All right, we're about to really start this game. <clears throat> Here we go. All right. Why well, they gotta drop us off in the most creepiest of locations? Well, because we're actually just going back up there yeah. and everything. Look, it's Jason. It's Jason Voorhees. Oh my God. You're shit. in the wrong cabin. Oh shit! I'm in the wrong set. <laughs> I'm in the wrong movie. <laughs> Where's my long rifle? I need my long rifle! So this is Sam. This Sam. is Hannah's best friend. She's considerate, adventurous, and diligent. 
And she's on a, hot. Yeah, I was gonna say that she's the most attractive character in the game. I love Press her. X. Oh yeah. <coughs> yeah, we already started playing by now. Yeah, this is all in game. Hello? This is not that tutorial, so if you screw up, that's not good. That's no one game. saw the tutorial though. Yeah, no one. So we didn't record there. Yeah. We started as soon as um, this part starts. Pass yeah. to the cable car station. So yeah. So right. this game kind of has a Resident Evil 6 feel, but the po also there's little sparkly things that will shine out throughout this entire area, and yep. you have to pick it up, and that's going to be vital, trust me. Yes, it's like clues, basically, mm -hmm. that are very important, actually, even the smallest clues. And as the story progresses, it'll actually kind of tell you why they're important, but... Yep. And you literally have the, every decision you make could alter anything <coughs> past or present. Yes. Gates busted. Climb over, Chris. Thanks, ass. Thanks, oh. ass face. No, you don't have to read it. Don't read it, because we don't have too long, remember? We already know what they're all pretty much saying. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, the gate's busted, but we're going to climb over it anyway. Climb it, because I'm Because cool fuck you, Josh. Because fuck you. <laughs> you didn't open the gate. Sorry, my bad. I was in there doing my thing. Okay, so yeah, what jo um, not Josh. What Jacob is doing right now is quick time events. Okay, One of the things kind of initiated in... Um, I don't want to say uh, Resident Evil. Uh, Fuck. <laughs> I was going to say Resident Evil and God of War, but yeah. apparently there was a game before this, long before this, where it started. Yep. <clears throat> but when you hear that ticking, that's a quick time. But when you otherwise have to do is make choices based off of the two or three options that you have on the screen. And I think it's just two, right? Yeah. Just two options on oh, the screen. Oh, no. Then there's that where you have to hold the controller stick. Mm. God, I hate that. Yeah, when we get to that, there's a point where you actually have to can hold the controller completely still. If you don't, you can fuck it up and yeah. kill your character. Yeah. Fun. Hey. Yeah, there's little little prompts all throughout this thing. Yeah. Okay, I'm backwards. Okay. Yeah. So there, yeah, there's no running by the way, yeah. except for do, when the game is, does this it. Is, this is all you're running. You get to walk fast. The only real co correlation between this and the other games is it's got that kind of God of War feel. So don't move right now. So we can't move because it would just scare the squirrel. Who gives a shit? But <laughs> I did it first time. I fucked up when I played. What this. happened when you scared the squirrel? Nothing? Squirrel gives you rabies. Oh, you can hear my dog. Hi, doggy. Presumably farted. <laughs> yeah. The tutorial always happens no matter what. Yeah. You, can't, you can't get it off your screen. So, just is that a, a fireplace? So, we're just making a friendly walk through the woods. All right, this is Oh, yeah, so this right is here. the important part here. This so, is what we were waiting for to tell you. Right. Is we have things called totems throughout this entire plot. These things basically are your fortune tellers. Yep. They could tell you your, what, your guidance, your fortune, your loss, danger, your death. Death is the one where you obviously could die if it happens. Danger is the one is like warning you of something that could kill you. Yep. Your loss is, I forgot. Someone could die. Possibly. The tragedy affects a friend. Yeah. Your guidance is obviously telling you pretty much where to go, or at least it gives you a vague idea where to go. And then your fortune is something good, obviously. Yeah, like so, depending on which one you pick up, it obviously will tell you something different. However, you want to collect them all yep. in order to find the entire story. Oh, yeah. Because they're very important, especially with this unraveling mystery that it has. Yeah, like, like this one. Like this this one. is now our second um, totem. We already got the first one, but you get a second one. Yep. Um... Just like right underneath that thing, so oh, they're bad. careless. Um, yeah, pick it up, I guess. I'm trying to. Okay, now I can pick it up. Yes. <coughs> yellow! So, so we got a yellow one, so we got guidance. Guidance. Yay! So, so it's telling you something about that bird. We won't tell you what, but just remember it. So go ahead and show them real quick the other thing. So, so yeah, this is our totem thing. As you see, we already have the first two. We want to fill up that entire screen, and if you actually look towards the bottom, I can't show you because my camera is a little too low, actually. Um, there's like a past oh. event that now has little spots that are filling up and everything. So if you look at those, that will actually show you what happened in the events prior to all of this happening and what's really going on here. Yep. But you need all the totems to get it. Yep. So basically, if I press triangle, it'll play something. But then it'll blank out and then go to the next scene. Ah, what's that? Okay, everything's all good. <laughs> but you want to collect all the totems. I'm not sure if we'll get them all during this gameplay, but we're going to try. Yeah. So, and then, <coughs> just go out. As it stands right now, we already have death and guidance, and death was kind of creepy, and guidance was mm -hmm. low. We still don't know what that bird means. Well, just wait. Okay, yeah, so now we're at the gun range. Oh, that's, that's scenery, though. 
That's a beautiful area. Look though. at Kanada. Oh, that would be good for the daytime, right now. That would be good. <laughs> That would be a great narrator. Also, there are little things around here that are just kind of clues. Yeah, so absolutely. do be mindful of what you look at. What you want is the shiny things because this game is always dark. Yes. So you always want to look for shiny spots that kind of flare off. Oh, yeah. And be careful because going certain areas continue plot and you can't go back. So it says, pass is beyond our control. So it's like basically like a butterfly. Effect. Written in blood and no one's going to guide that. And no one's even going to think to question that. Oh, that's blood. Nice. At least it looks like it. Yeah, that is really dripping red paint. Like they just painted really, it. Really good paint. <laughs> wait, wait. Go around towards that bench. I think there's something there. Oh yeah, the phone. His bag. I forgot. I yeah. His Chris's bag. He can do stuff. This is. Okay, here's where we're talking about where you make decisions. What you decide to do affects your relationship with other characters. Yes. And if you affect it too much, they can actually kill you. Yeah. But. Don't turn them into assholes. Yeah, <laughs> don't turn them all in the asshole. We already have Emily and she's a total asshole. So you can decide to snoop or you can close the bag. I'm closing it because I'm cool, Emily. See, what that little butterfly did, it just says I did something to change the butterfly. Yeah, as you see on the right side of the screen, it says the butterfly effect. Basically, whatever you just did will affect. This is Chris. He has a cr crush on Ashley. He's methodical, protective, and humorous. And the weirdest looking shit out there. Yep, but he's awesome. He's a cool guy. We're kind of rooting for him. Yep. I want him and Ashley to get together. <coughs> this is true. Let the fan fictions commence. Let the VNR begin! <laughs> Blow what now? <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris. Well, we are. Chris, I'm not doing that in the woods right now. <laughs> Jesus. Jeez. Oh, there's a shiny thing. Shiny thing. I'm going to touch it. It's Tinkerbell. <laughs> oh, you found a clue. Yeah, there we go. See this like thing? I said, some of this really doesn't matter, but we got to yeah. find him anyway. Yeah. Don't read it. We don't have a lot of time to read everything. We already kind of know what's going on, but if we were going in completely blind, we would. Because unlike Markiplier, we, we know, well, he went in completely blind and he killed off like three of his characters. <laughs> he killed off Matt, he killed off uh, Ashley, and then I think he killed off Mike. Oh my fucking god, I, oh, I did. Then he restarted the whole thing and got him all alive. <laughs> Oops, I won't do that again. Alright, here's a gun. Yay! There's my long rifle. Hey! Chris Cable Car Station. Alright, now I'm Chris. Here goes. Don't miss. Oh no, I'm good. I played yeah, you can't really miss. No. Unless you really suck at aiming. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you. Let me show you how bad I am. <laughs> so it's kind of like... Yeah, you got, yeah, you got plenty of time to shoot. Yeah. Damn, he shot that can dead. I'm gonna shoot the stick. Fuck Oof. that can. Sorry, the stick got in the way. <laughs> Good shot. Wow, nice. <laughs> Sound like French history for a second. I think Sam makes fun of you if you miss anything. Yeah, she makes fun of you anyway. <laughs> shoot whatever you want, doesn't matter what. You know, what if I shoot you? He's still talking about even if he is. <laughs> You're like, you do realize I'm holding a gun, right? <laughs> shoot the squirrel! Shoot no, the squirrel! I don't like shooting animals. Oh. Actually, it really does influence in this game to not hurt any nature. of the animals. Do not hurt nature. Do not hurt the animals. I don't know. I just don't like seeing You just got teabagged. See, <laughs> see, I just affected the butterfly side. Come so. on. Mm -hmm. You know, what if I aim this gun right at you? <laughs> it says butterfly effect updated. Yep. So that just means oh, yeah, your relationship fine. between the characters has changed a little. But right now we don't really care. Nope, not right now. Your relationship, I don't care about. It's just what happens in the plot I do. So we'll kind of be jumping around around that. I'm freaking cold, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're not Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you think it would have behooved us to wear some gloves. Because, you know, we're a Kanada egg. I mean, we are alongside of a mountaintop. I don't know. You said they found people sleeping in the station one time. Homeless people? Were they cool people? Maybe. Were they the cool kids in town? Were they the cool hobos?
Yeah, so this is basically a movie that we can interact with. An interactive movie. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. It doesn't... Do you buy your own... Yeah, system. look around before you do anything, though. Yeah. And right now he's controlling Chris. Yeah. He was playing a Sam. Yeah. And this is actually the reason why we're not doing this by chapter, is because it switches in between characters and certain parts. Yeah. And it goes back and forth, so we don't have... Some of them have longer, some of them have short. Hotel and Sanatorium. Oh, great. Sanatorium. Lovely. Oh, I was yeah. going to say, that doesn't sound like a very good combination. A lot of people went insane in this hotel. It's like The Shining. They did not get their bath soap. <laughs> <laughs> or their bath salts. You may know. Oh, look. Oh. Oh. Cameras that are looking directly at a bathtub oh, and the outside of a lab cabin. Because that's, you know, normal. Yeah, why is there a camera aimed at the bathtub? I've never noticed no. that before. Um, pervy, you know. Yeah. yeah, just a Someone little bit. Someone likes to see his dangling <coughs> swing or vajijis. Vajijis. PG-13! PG-13! Oh, this is far away from Oh, it. this is like NC-17. The gore <laughs> kind of makes it R-rated, in my opinion. Yeah, well, I wasn't going to stay here. I just disease, but okay. I'm just going to fall asleep and freeze out here, but fuck it. Don't <laughs> Yeah, he has to go in. Oh, we already found everything in there. Yeah. Into your car. Just like going to the prom. Huh? Well, yeah. You're in the mountains. Yeah, but you got a girl with you this time, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's not really the prom, it's your homecoming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your right hand, it's alright. You and Josh seem really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no. I'm sorry about the glare on the screen right now. It's actually bright out and I don't have blinds on, so. They'll see that on this. We could probably get a blanket and cover up the blinds. It's alright. So I guess Sam kind of has a thing for Josh, but he's, she's very unsure. Because I guess, he th she, I guess she thinks that Josh is a little off. Which, when you see him, you'll kind of understand why, but. I'm always a little off, just a little bit. Oh, shut up, Josh. <laughs> Not you, Josh, the other Josh. <laughs> Strap snapping. It's when they pull the bra and they slap. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> because I laughed. I wish I was. <laughs> so this game emphasizes the idea of the butterfly effect, and Chris just basically explained it really, which is something happened in the past, it affected your future, and that's why you are where you are now. Yep. So it just made something already explained in very long detail. This is Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Page number two. She's confident, trusting, and irreverent. And irrelevant because she hardly shows up throughout this entire goddamn story. A bitch. A bitch. As soon as they take her away, she disappears for most of the story. Yeah. She's bitch number two, really. <laughs> we don't really care for her much just because she has the least. Bitch number one. I'm not saying her name. I'm just calling her bitch number. I'm pretty sure the audience already knows. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody knows who bitch number one is. <laughs> Apparently, I have to play her when she comes up. So I'll oh yeah, kill her yeah. Because that. Josh is the new guy, we're gonna let him play as Emily. Uh, bow up. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna let him play as bitch number one. Bitch number one. Where do I go? I'm trying to remember. I think you gotta go to your right. Four one. Spoiler right. alert! I might just kill her. Oh, no, well, well, we'll see. We'll see how far that goes. Oh, there we go. Let's get that far in the middle. <gasps> oh, fucking! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I thought she hit the fucking door. Why, Chris? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I wasn't ready for it at that time. I knew it was coming. Damn it, it's like me and Resi 7. I might just let you stay in there. <laughs> what if like every character just kind of pretended like they were the killer? <laughs> like, like they had the plan, what if I just let you die? <laughs> it's like clear. You wouldn't! Like they kind of tease at killing. You don't know who the killer is in this entire story, but we could tease it. Butterfly update. Someone has a little crush on our girl. 
good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Monroe. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? What do you watch, Chris? <laughs> what you want to do? Okay. What would you do? Yeah. <coughs> I would have done the same thing. I would have just said I'm with him. Yeah, I have his dick now. I got the D from the M. That used to be with. He's in my DMs. Used to be with B1, but it's alright. He was my main. Now I got a second. You guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. She sounds like one of those Starbucks girls. And it's because she wastes it. She decides to die. She seems like she's straight out of California. Yeah, like she wants a latte from Starbucks. She looks like that Cali girl. Oh, uh, don't worry. You can't really die for the first four for the game. Yeah. And everything. You just kind of have to... It really just affects your relationship with other characters, yeah, not your death. Yeah. So you can either change them to assholes or... You can either make them hate each other. Oh. All right. Here's the fun part. Bitch number one, Emily, Mike's ex. She's resourceful, persuasive, and intelligent, but she's a total she's a dick bag bitch. the entire game. She's a bitch. Oh, dude. We all hate her. We except for Josh, who doesn't know anything yet. But... <laughs> Oh, I hate her guts of a burning passion. I know. I, oh. She is literally the worst. Matt could have done so much better. I know. This is Matt, the only black guy in the game. Emily's new boyfriend, ambitious, active, and motivated. You're yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. He actually kind of disappears throughout the most of the game. Yeah. He shows up towards the end, and you can play as him, but he disappears right after that. Oh so he doesn't have really much of an importance. So, Josh, you get to take Matt. I'll let you be the black guy. Not yet. Not yet. I just want to throw my fucking suitcases at you, you motherfucker. I just want to throw all my suitcases. All my hate. <laughs> all <of> my hatred. <laughs> Why are you probably carrying your luggage? No, like seriously. Carry your luggage. I was like, you know, it'd be ashamed if I threw these off the side of a mountain. I know. <laughs> oh, no. This, there is Mike. Damn it, Mike. Emily's, Emily's ex, intelligent, driven, and persuasive, and a total dick burger. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, he's a total dick, but he has the longest, most contrived part of the entire story. Yeah, uh, yeah. There really isn't too much for him. No. What if he's just like the ultimate mannequin <laughs> challenge, and he's just frozen? <laughs> he's, frozen he's not really moving. It's not even the screen. It's just question, him. Like, I was like, no, Mike, are you okay? <laughs> Mike, move, guys. move, Mike. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. Actually, I think when it goes faded black, you probably switch off. Seriously, what's wrong with you? But we'll, this time we won't do it. Yeah, I kind of have to agree with her on that one. Don't be like that. Like what? Well, she's smart, but she's just an asshole. Yeah, she's, an, yeah, she's a major bitch. What would I do? <laughs> what would I do? What would, what yeah, probably welcome. What would I do? Oh, yeah, his eyes move to whatever option. Yeah, so I'm making him look like he's fucking possessed, so I don't know. <laughs> Go and choose an option, damn it. He's having a moment. He's having a moment. God damn it. Uh, Just welcome him back. Okay. It really doesn't matter. I'm just going to lay it out. Otherwise, this whole week. Matt may not have the most importance, but at least make him a nice guy. Yeah. This is so innocent. Awkward, and we all know it. So Let's innocent. Just uh, acknowledge it now and move on. Okay? Matt. I hear you, Matt. God, this must be okay. awkward for them. <clears throat> like, both of Emily. Emily's ex and her current boyfriend. Yeah, it's awkward. That's awkward. Oh my god, totally. We're gonna make out. Wow. You know what, Mike? What if I just kill you for that? <laughs> Mike, that was a little bit weird. I'm just saying, man. I might just kill you, Mike. <laughs> I'm not gonna die this time, bitch. Actually, wait. No, we gotta wait till it fades. Yeah, we gotta wait till it fades. Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? Oh god, this part. Yeah. Oh, this is exactly what I would decide here. Do it. I need to go find Sam. I want to make him a nice guy before. I need to go find Sam in the time. middle of the mountains, even though I have a phone. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her it's before we get all the way up there. It's really, can't wait. We're almost there. It's I'm kind of agreeing with Matt here. Yeah, I know, seriously. Um, I honestly persist. Yeah, yeah. I would too. <laughs> I would be like, we just got here. Why do I gotta go back? Back down the trail by yourself. That is amazing yeah, detail on their face, though. It's dark. Except for their teeth. Their teeth are yeah, the teeth were weird, but the detail on it is really good. And the fact that they have so much mannerisms and movement in there, too. Are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? You know, you're acting kind of shady, bitch. Yeah, like you want some other D. It's like you want them DMs again. Well, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Oh. 
When we go back home, I am breaking up with you. <laughs> now you see why we don't like Emily. I'm already starting to. You see? He knows. <laughs> Alright, now I'll take it.